interim ICE director, a Vietnamese refugee, draws fire from Asian groups. The Trump administration's appointment of a Vietnamese refugee to lead immigration and customs enforcement sparked anger among Asian American advocates, many of whom condemned the move as hypocritical. Tony Pham, whose family fled Saigon in 1975, previously served as the agency's principal legal advisor. He was tapped on Tuesday to succeed Matt Albans as the new acting director. Okay, here's a picture of him here, Mr. Pham. During the Trump years, deportations of Southeast Asians have grown at an alarming rate. Pham's nomination comes at a particularly fraught time for a group already reeling from the health and economic fallout of the pandemic. Early this month, ICE removed 30 Vietnamese Americans, including some refugees thought to be protected under a 2008 agreement between the U.S. and Vietnam. Trump appointed a refugee as the head of an agency that consistently violates the rights of refugees is a tactic commonly used to divide our communities. Tracy La, the executive director of the California-based organization Viet Rise, told NBC Asian America. ICE did not respond to NBC Asian America's request for comment. In an official statement, La added, for FAM, to have been a Vietnamese refugee does not mean that he will lead ICE and treat immigrants and refugees with dignity and honor the human rights that they deserve. For other advocates, Pham's long career in law enforcement is a serious cause for concern. Prior to joining the Department of Homeland Security, he worked as a prosecutor in Richmond, Virginia and as a superintendent at the Virginia Peninsula Regional Jail. Given that he's already worked for ICE within this administration, and this administration has aggressively ramped up targeting Southeast Asian refugee communities, we don't feel optimistic that there will be a change in how ICE is run, said Phi Nguyen, the litigation director at Asian Americans Advancing Justice, Atlanta, or AAAJ. The way in which Fram frames his migration story also perpetuates the good immigrant versus bad immigrant narrative, experts said. Fram and his family became citizens a decade after resettling in the U.S. In an email to ICE attorneys, he stressed that he had taken the lawful path to citizenship. Roughly 15,000 Southeast Asians face final removal orders, 80% of which are linked to underlying criminal convictions, according to a report from AAAJ. Among refugees at risk of deportation, Wynn said, some are worried that FAM might adopt an even tougher approach to enforcement to distance himself as an immigrant who had done the right way from undocumented immigrants and those who lost their legal status because of a conviction. Even those who aren't incarcerated or deported but have deportation orders have to live in constant fear, she said. They can never fully feel safe in their homes. Brown's emphasis on having followed the lawful track to citizenship diminishes the harshness of the nation's immigration policies and the extraordinary hardships 
some families have endured, according to Katrina Dizon, Mira Tech. Let's see who's just saying. It's not that. Okay. For some immigrants who come and make it, there's a tendency to pull the ladder away from others to come and make it, she said, adding that her own family became undocumented some years after arriving in the U.S. due to limited options to obtaining residency status. It's sad and disheartening. Oh, by the way, that person called me there, came to this country as a refugee too. <laughs> from Laos. Yeah, interesting. Just as important, she continued a re she continued a rhetoric that implies that Asian Americans with legal status and now deserving of rights for prohibits the community from critically examining existing immigration laws, who created them and who they may fall. For us, she said, it's about pushing boundaries, about not only what's legal, but what's truly just in this moment. Some national organization like OCA, Asian Pacific American Advocate, are cautiously hopeful that FAM might help soften Trump's hardline stance on deportations by ending mandatory detention and forced removals. AAPI representation in our government is important in order to uplift the needs of our community and ensure the well-being of AAPI through policies and legislation. Roland Hahn, the organization Vice President of Public Affairs said in an official statement. We hope Mr. Pham will remember his refugee roots and Vietnamese American immigrant con community to counteract the Trump administration anti-immigrant agenda. But a wide coalition of immigration activists have argued that ICE as a fundamentally racist institution that upholds white supremacy <laughs> is beyond reform. ICE is a morally bankrupt agency that's charged with enforcing rules that are inhumane, when said, adding that it perpetuates a cycle of displacement and family separations with which many refugees are already familiar. FAM does have discretion to make things a bit better, but at the end of the day, it's a system that needs to be completely abolished.